हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू पब्लिक द टाइटल ऑफ आर टूडेज वीडियो इज हाउ टू शॉर्ट एन यू आर एल फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल वाई अब बिटली सो आई एम रनिंग अ यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम एडिंग द डिटेल्स ऑफ माई वीडियो इन माई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल शीट लाइक द वीडियो टाइटल एंड द वीडियो यू आर एल एंड आई विश दैट आज सुन एज आई एड न्यू डिटेल्स इन माई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल शीट ऑटोमेटिकली माई वीडियो यू आर एल शुड बी शॉर्ट एन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ बिटली एंड एडेड टू अनदर शीट इन माई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल For this, we are going to create a connection between Excel, Bitly, and then Excel. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So in Pabli, we have the concept of trigger and action. For trigger, we are going to use Microsoft Excel, and for action, we are using Bitly and Microsoft Excel. If you also want to learn this process step by step. Follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to shorten URL from Microsoft Excel via Bitly. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between our Bitly account and our Microsoft Excel account. To create this connection, I have already logged in my account and opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli. dot com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as you open the landing page of Pabli, you are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get hundred of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting certain applications. And then we are going to click on access now. And now it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button right over here, which says "Create Workflow." And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder, which is Automations, and I want to name my workflow as How to Shorten URL from Microsoft Excel via Bitly. And then we are going to click on Create. And now it is opening the most important window of our automation, that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have trigger and action in this. Trigger means when this happens, and action means do this. By this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow, and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now we are going to select our trigger application, which is Microsoft Excel, because I want that as soon. As a new row is updated in my Microsoft Excel with the long in URL and the video title, automatically my workflow should be triggered. So I'm going to search for Microsoft Excel and select it. And now for the trigger event, we are going to select New Row in Worksheet, and then we are going to click on Connect. And now it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Microsoft Excel account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on Select Existing Connection and then Save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me. Click on Add a New Connection and then we are going to click on Connect with Microsoft Excel. And now it is asking me for some permissions, so I'm going to click on Accept and give it all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. You can also click on Accept because Pabli is safe. And as soon as you are going to click on Accept, you can see that you have successfully connected your Microsoft Excel account with your Pabli's workflow. And now it is asking me the workbook name and the worksheet name. So as you know, the name of my workbook is YouTube Video Details, and the name of my worksheet is Long URL. So I'm going to search for YouTube Video Details right over here and select it. And then for the worksheet name, we are going to select Long URL, and then we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request. And now it is going to capture the latest details I added in my worksheet. So as you can see that it has already captured the latest details. Over here is the video title and over here is the video link. So this means that my trigger step is successful. And now we are moving on to our action step. For our action application, we are going to first select Bitly right over here because I want that as soon as a new video URL is added in my Google Sheets, automatically my workflow should be triggered and the video link should be shortened using Bitly. So I'm going to search for Bitly and then we are going to select it. And now for the action event, we are going to select shorten link and then we are going to click on connect. And again, it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So, if you have already connected your Bitly account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on Select Existing Connection and then Save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me. Click on Add a New Connection and then connect with Bitly. 
and now it is asking me for some permissions so i'm going to click on allow and give it all the permissions because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on allow because pabli is safe and as soon as you are going to click on allow you can see that you have successfully connected your bitly account with your pabli's workflow and now it is asking me to select the group so i'm going to select the group as ashi rai and then for the long url we are going to map that url so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected microsoft excel as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as i'm going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new row updated in my worksheet and also my workflow would be ready to run in real time too so i'm going to open my response and over here you can see the long url so i'm going to map this and after mapping this we are going to click on save and send as request and yes you can see that it has already shortened my url over here you can see the link and over here is the long url so this means that we have received a positive response and our action step is also successful but now i want to add this link in my worksheet too in sheet number 2 over here so to do this again we are going to add another action step and then we are going to select the action application as microsoft excel again and then for the action event we are going to select add row to worksheet and then we are going to click on connect again and again it is asking you to add a new connection or select the existing connection so i'm going to click on select existing connection and then save this time and yes you can see that we have successfully connected our microsoft excel account again and now again it is asking me for the workbook and the worksheet so we are going to select the workbook as youtube video details and yes you can see that as soon as i change the workbook automatically pabli detected the drive id and changed it so we are not going to change this we are directly moving on to the worksheet so i'm going to select the worksheet as shortened url because i want to add the details in this worksheet which is video title video url and shortened url So that's why I selected shortened URL as my worksheet right over here. And now we are going to map the video title, video URL, and the shortened URL. So we are going to open the response, and over here we are going to map the video title. We are going to do same for the video URL, and then for the shortened URL we are going to map the details from the Bitly. Over here you can see the link, so we are going to map this. And now we are going to click on save and send as request. And yes, you can see that we have received a positive response that our details have been added to our Microsoft Excel. So we are going to open our Microsoft Excel and check that if the details have been added or not. And yes, you can see the details have been added over here. You can see the video title, the video URL, and the shortened URL. So this means that my workflow is successful. And I'll just summarize the workflow for you once. For a trigger application, I selected Microsoft Excel, and then for the trigger event, I selected New Row in the worksheet because I wanted that as soon as a new row is added in my worksheet, automatically my workflow should be triggered. And over here, you can see that Microsoft Excel is a pooling-based application, and it says this trigger will check for new data in every eight hours. So this means that Pabli will check for new data in every eight hours, and then as soon as a new row is updated, the workflow would be triggered in every eight hours. And then for the action application, we selected. bitly and then for the action event we selected shorten link we got the shorten link of the url we wanted to and then again we wanted to add that url in our microsoft excel so again we selected our action application as microsoft excel and then the action event as add new row and we were successful with our workflow over here you can see the video url and the shorten url so i'm going to open this shorten url and yes you can see that it is opening the same video So with this if you have any questions related to the workflow the video you can directly comment on this video and for your reference I'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching